Hello people, I am from Breaking Code. Today we will be learning something about prime numbers. So you all guys might be knowing what a prime number is. Like a number who doesn't have any divisor except one and the number itself. So uh, now in this uh, video you will be learning like how to find prime numbers, how to generate and uh, check whether the given number is prime number or not. Now to do so we will write a function. This is a function prime uh, which uh, takes an input as n and uh, we have to check whether n is a prime number or not. So what we will do is uh, uh, take a variable flag and uh, set it to like 1. Now this flag is equal to 1 indicates that the number is prime number. So what we will do in this problem is uh, take a loop, uh, for loop. For i is equal to 2 i less than equal to n minus 1 i plus plus now I will explain you why we took 2 here and why we are going only up to n minus 1 and uh, how can we make the technique more efficient like you guys might be having a problem like time limit exceeded in your submission kind of thing so I uh, will teach you how to make this logic more efficient uh, but just stick to it for, uh, for a second like uh, so what we will do in this logic is this this is number i which goes from i uh, is equal to 2 uh, to n, uh, n minus 1 and in each and every step what we do is take n mod i and check whether it is equal to 0 like in each and every loop what we check is uh, whether the number n which is our input is uh, uh, we take modulus operator with respect to i so this checks whether the number is perfectly divisible n is perfectly divisible by i or not so this is the reason why we start i from 2 because if we take i from 1 then i is obviously divisible by n uh, so this is what the logic like if n mod i is equal to equal to 0 then we set flag equal to 0 so this means that uh, the number is not prime flag is equal to 1 indicates that the number is prime and flag is equal to 0 indicates that the number is not prime as it gets divided by i uh, therefore this is the logic and at the end we return flag so return flag so in the main function we will check whether the value of this flag is whether it is equal to 1 or 0 if it's 1 then we will uh, consider this number as prime and if it's 0 then we will consider this number as not is not a prime number so this is what the logic of the sum is now uh, like I have promised before like I will tell you a way to uh, make your logic more efficient now what we can do to improve this like there is a lot of redundancy in this uh, step because i goes ranging from 2 to n minus 1 so, so let me give you an example like take an example take a number 36 uh, now obviously you know 36 is not a prime number so what what i'll do is find all the factors of 36 these are the factors of 36 if you look closely what you'll find out is this box and this box are pretty much the same like 4 into 9 9 into 4 3 into 12 12 into 3 so what we do is this uh, we just uh, uh, now in our previous logic what we are uh, doing is ranging from uh, 2 we are traversing all the way through n minus 1 so what we'll do is only travel from uh, up to this so we'll get all the factors and uh, we'll stop looping here so uh, this uh, is a number 6 where uh, we uh, we should stop looping now what is so special about this number 6 as we notice that 6 is a square root of this number 36 so this is the main logic of this sum that uh, we just only have to uh, like uh, uh, make a loop from i is equal to 2 to i is equal to square root of that number which will uh, reduce the time complexity of the problem and make your logic more efficient so this is what the logic of the sum was you don't have to travel all the way to a uh, towards uh, through n minus 1 you can stop the uh, stop the looping at square root of the number uh, this is what the logic that will reduce the time complexity so always use a for loop which is going from i is equal to 2 to i less than equal to square root of that number so always this uh, use this for loop uh, and this sqrt is a function in mat.h this was today's problem prime numbers uh, we can use this logic in various sums like uh, if we take an example from spos.com 
the name of the problem is uh, prime prime generator so what in that problem what we have to do is we'll be given two inputs like take a input uh, 2 and uh, 13 and we have to find all the prime numbers between 2 and 13 so what we'll do is use a for loop for i is equal to 2 to i less than equal to 13 i plus plus so we have to just uh, uh, use a for loop from going from 2 to 13 and for each number like uh, we have to check whether the number is prime or not so we wrote a function about prime uh, to check whether the number is prime or not so we have to just check whether the i is prime or not uh, we can take a variable a and store that like if a is equal to 1 then the number is prime then we can print a and if a is equal to 0 then just go forward uh, as the number is not prime so so we can use this logic in various sums so the main logic of this sum is uh, this part like we have to only go to square root of n and not go till n minus 1 so thanks uh, thanks guys for watching this video we'll be making more video this was pretty basic uh, example to teach you how to reduce the time complexities. We will be making more complex uh, videos uh, on the sums which are more complex from the medium level of code chefs, pause. So just stick to it. Thanks for watching the video. Bye. Good night.